Um, but anyway, he ends up doing that. He, he does his time on his first case from 71, gets back out. The feds are all over him because they never get any of his vast wealth. They hit him again with a net worth income tax case, which is the same case they got Al Capone on. They could never get him on a drug conspiracy again or anything else, so they hit him with a net worth case. As the feds will do, threaten to put his mom in jail. He decided that before he let his mom do a day, he'd just take the cop. Mm -hmm. He does another 10. Comes home in like 87, 88. Sees that the game has changed. The world has changed and he's a different man. Anyway, he spent the last 20 years as a motivational speaker helping youth. Mm -hmm. Advising them to stay um, out of the game. That the days of his day are gone and done and that there's other ways to, to make a living and to live the good life. Sounds familiar. So, <laughs> yes. Um, and just a real story of redemption. Um, works with the school kids all over the country. Um, it's recognized as a great motivational speaker and, and all of the above. Mm -hmm. um, one of the early street legends to really start getting shout outs, whether it's Pusha T or... Um, Young Dolph. Young Do many people. Yeah. Many people have uh, referred to Pee Wee Kirkland in their lyrics. Oh, no um, question. No question. So, um, so, yeah, man, family, um, guys are not familiar with him. Maybe some of the younger people out there. Take the time if you like following and chronicling these kind of characters that impact on our community. Damn straight need to be talking about Pee Wee Kirkland. Um, he's definitely on our short list as we go about networking and trying to do some of the things we're doing as we take the other part of our business, not the podcast part, but the movie business and documentary business um, to the next level. He's one of the kind of characters I'd love to really do something with. He's yeah. still living. Um, you know, just a phenomenal story. So yeah. shout out to Pee Wee Kirkland. Big uh, up. Sir, and, and all of the above, you know. Um, we got a couple of uh, we got a couple of commenters in the uh, in the live here. We got Willie Trust and God Stevenson's big up. Did not forget you. He wants to know when is the next event that we are having in Detroit or being a part of. The next event um, yet to be identified. I want to say in November because we we are roughly anticipating that we'll be launching a premiere doing some premiere parties for Motown, Motown Mafia, Mafia Part, part two. 2 Reloaded mm -hmm. around the Thanksgiving time I'm sure uh, just stay in touch with us and we got your info yeah. um, we'll be doing something somewhere else mm -hmm. um, we know we got our home girl uh, Michelle who just pr finished her movie Sloppy Seconds, so Sloppy shout out, seconds, shout out to her and shout out to Plush Promotions, uh, Lisa Brown and up. them over there. And shout out to our other home girl, um, Tanja, the shoe lady. She's got some great stuff over on Tubi. Yes. Shout out to um, old boy over at um, Dennis and what he's doing too. And um, But home girl Michelle and Sloppy Seconds, I think they'll be doing their premiere maybe next month or early September so I'm sure we'll do some kind of partnership or at yeah. bare minimum um, yeah, we'll, definitely we'll, be we'll there definitely be in, be, in, be in there to help celebrate that so yeah. uh, so looking forward to that and um, also I think Time just got some other stuff coming out uh, as we continue to try to build our networking opportunities here in the D with these we got some brothers and sisters here in the D that are doing some phenomenal things with the movie industry. Right. Um, I think for real, for real, that one day, twenty years from now, they're gonna be writing the what 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 these people in Detroit are doing now. They're gonna be writing in business books and in film study classes some of the techniques that they've used to be able to work within budgets and get stories about our community out into the world. Yes. Um, yes. So the answer to that, my brother, is we don't have an exact date of the next thing, but stay tuned. And again, I know we'll, we'll be at uh, Sloppy Seconds premiere 
and uh, some of our other people in our network got some movie premieres coming up. But no doubt, come November, tentatively now, we'll be doing some early before it goes to the streaming platforms. Uh, we'll probably do some private showings of Motown Mafia Part 2 at a few different venues around town. Absolutely. And uh, yeah. so we look forward to you um, to coming to see us, family. So appreciate the support, though. And uh, Nikki Nicole just says, uh, CBJ, hi -o, my brother friend. What up, Nikki? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, it's good to see the fan. That's, again, um, the little perk of this business we do is um, we get a chance to, to catch up to old friends and yeah. and all of the above. Yeah, and, definitely. Uh, and it's it's a good thing. Um, guys, I see that was, uh, you got a chance. You've been hearing about Money Walt like for years, right? A, a, a man down in Florida. Met Money Walt. Uh, ten years before, did and you? Yes, yes. Met Money Walt when you guys were. And if I have some video footage, I may put this up as a, a single deal. But you all were looking at a property down there, and oh, that's uh, right. Yeah, I had met Walt ten years prior, and uh, didn't know him that well. Seemed affable, you know, nice cat. You right. know what I'm saying? And then, uh, you know, to actually meet. Money Walt again ten years later and get to know Money Walt. He reminds me of, and I said this before, my my man, rest in peace, Puff the executive, Puffy. Okay. But yeah, he, I mean, not Puffy Combs, the Detroit Puffy Puff. Combs. Detroit, anybody in Detroit knows who I'm talking about, Puff the executive, the big visor. Shout out to you, sir. Uh, the seafood spot downtown. I'm not downtown. It's on the east side. Um, uh, who else do we want to uh, leave a good shout out to? Yeah, but you got a chance to really hear from Walt firsthand what a conduit. Oh no! Because you've heard that that piece that I did on, on at the barber shop. Uh, yeah, because without Walt, there's none of those stories about Eddie and the Big Head of New York. There's maybe no Cotillion no Club. No Cotillion Club. Mike Abstral Underwood, JB Smooth. Oh man. Uh without without Money Walt. Yeah, just Money Walt. And he gave a great interview on Motown Mafia Reloaded. Yeah, yeah. So you guys will get some clips of him. Uh we could not do some of the more salacious events that Walt has had opportunity. There was much editing done that day. A lot of editing done. So Wendy Williams, owe us some thanks. Tyra Banks, you owe us some thanks. You, you owe us some thanks. Yes, uh, Mary, Miss Mary J. Blige, and all you fine sisters out there. Yes, you yes. owe us some thanks. Yes, yes. Because and, a couple, and a couple of the uh, cats. It was a, it was a couple of bits of spillage that I had to cut out. Uh, Brother Charlemagne and, and oh, Brother Charlemagne. Matter of fact. You luckily we're above uh, blackmail because we're supposed to be on the Breakfast Club right now. That's right. We got some shit. <laughs> I'm just saying, Envy, <laughs> Angela. We know where the bones are buried. Charlemagne the God. <laughs> just saying, man. And I know we was all young at one time when we young. We'd be doing shit. Mariah. Mar uh, Mariah, actually, that's on my bag because Mariah was, you know, we thought we was too important to talk to Mariah. Right. I was so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> there's wrong, and then there's that kind of wrong. That's right. There's blowing it, and then there's you say Mariah wanted to hang out with you guys at the Palladium, and you guys didn't let her in the VIP. Yeah. Yeah, that, that would be us. That, that would be us. But the smallest of the world, right there, Waltz. Frat brother is Gene Deal. Shout out to Gene Deal. He's got a great YouTube station going on. Um, and that uh, Gene Deal then played basketball with KK. Oh, okay. At, yeah, okay. Same guy. Okay. Okay. Down in Alabama. Yeah. Yeah. Just the smallness of the world. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's all connected. Right. And of course, Gene will be Puffy and Bad Boy security guard for years. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, was right there with all that Bad Boy. Yeah, he, he does oh. some. Oh, we got we got my man, Ted Lagarde. What up, brother? Brother Ted Lagarde Vest, one of the premier um, animal athletic gear producers in the country shout out to brother ted me and ted also involved in some real estate deals together up in oakland county um remember me and ted went over to china i, I do recall that yes and, yes um, 
So shout out to him. Um, you know, me and the Lagarde family go back 40 years plus. Shout out to Uncle Lenny. Um, shout out to the big homie. You know who you are. Yes. You know, um, always love, all the love and respect in the world and, um, and all that. So, yeah. His question. Yeah. Any plans to put music to your project? If so, how do people submit music to Big Boss Filmworks? Um, well, Ted, as you know, as we spoke yesterday, and uh, your nephew, Little Tommy, I forget Tommy's music name. I remember Little t Tommy. Yes. was down there when um, down at uh, Luke Doc the Davis. Channel. We was at Doc Davis. I still got that footage. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to put some links to, to to Tommy, so we want Tommy. But the long story short is, shoot us an email to either Big Boss Filmworks at gmail dot com, forward us your music or anything like that for Big at Big Boss Filmworks at yahoo dot com or Big Boss Filmworks at gmail dot com. That's right. We definitely are in need of some soundtracks, and on that we'll pass along going back to our home girl Michelle because Michelle just reached out to us again they're in post-production of her movie sloppy seconds yeah that her and uh, Lisa did yeah and uh, they're looking for some soundtracks well I'm gonna I'm throw a couple of shouts out to some of my music massive we got Nick Speed big up to you big brother. up to Nick yeah 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 big up to Nick Speed and uh, Rose Spit they, they have a bit of a project the Coney Island project out <laughs> And then we got my man uh, DJ King David. He put his uh, his. I'm gonna have to get you a copy of his uh, CD or put it on a put it on the phone or something like that. It's called Good Dope Sells Itself. Facts. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Excellent release and uh, tons of Chino. Oh man, Chino, man. I you know I be following. Shout out to cousin Jerry. You guys know him probably in the streets by his music. Chino. We were supposed to be getting together this week. Gonna get together. Um, Chino's killing the game, man. Chino's doing it, man. He's doing it. I'm so proud. I mean, this is my blood, blood cousin, not just a street cousin. Yeah. Uh, this is my blood. And to see, um, you know, and he'd been at it for a minute. Um, he always helped us out at the Hall of Fame. and uh, Always. He's just, you know, every everything I see him drop now, the, the, right. from, from the way he spits. In fact... That's Chino right on the cover of Getting Off Zero, Mind Right, Money Right. The success of both of them and my cousin right. Alyssa at the Lip Bar, you know, which is just blown, blown up, blown up, blown up. But yeah, family at its best. That's Chino and cousin Melissa doing some uh, modeling. Like, like 2014. 2014, exactly. Um, so yeah, by the way, a great book for those looking for some inspiration. Mind right, money right, getting off zero. Uh, shout out to Ray Tatum down there in Atlanta. Big up, right? GOC family. Book is available at Amazon. And since we done went down that road, do not forget Big Man on Campus, a fictionalized version of my life during my college days. Names and places have been changed to protect the innocent as well as the guilty. Available on Kindle on Amazon. And then... How it's not here, I do not know. But of course, Big Boss Filmwork, um, yeah. Motown Mafia, Memoirs of a Kingpin's Kid, available on Amazon at BigBossFilmworks.com, um, everywhere. So, yeah, man. Mm -hmm. So, Ted, yeah, and um, we're going to link up. You know, Ted's got some, just a great entrepreneur and just a great guy oh no question so um yeah we know yeah. we we definitely gonna link up and see if we can get fam little tommy but yeah so homegirl michelle's looking for some all you um hip-hop artists uh we got a we got a teammate um michelle and her project they're looking like right now they're in uh post-production mm -hmm. so please get some music if you want somebody to listen to it they're looking for some things for their soundtrack we need the music for Motown Mafia Part 2 Motown Mafia Reloaded yeah. um, we got script work being done one script in the can another script that and, went and completed for, process, right? that will probably end up going to screen before um, for a bunch of reasons that we're not going to go into right now but it definitely um it's like uh, we get, I can leak this part. It's an up-to-date version of this. So again, it will be a 
movie based on a true story. You know, it'll be dramatized, obviously, but definitely the events and characters that will be featured in it. Um, it's real. It's yeah. a real story. Um, and, and so that's two things for sure. We're going to need a movie for our first motion picture release, and um, we're going to need music for the doc coming up. Correct. And, um, well, I think me and Cousin and Chino have been spoke about it now. We're going to we're going to get y'all some nice new intro music for this podcast, too. So, please, yeah. BigBossFilmworks at gmail.com. BigBossFilmworks at yahoo.com. Um, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, oh, one more shout out to my man, Billy. Uh, Billy, uh, the Glass, Bla Glass Block Express. Uh, my man, Billy, met him met him not too long ago over... Uh, down in Detroit, and uh, he's a big fan of the show. Just wanted to send a big, big shout out to him. All right, definitely Billy. Yeah, Billy knew about uh, Petey Weestraw and uh, yeah. Buck a Buck and that whole crew. And everybody and, thought he was Mike Epps. Yeah, yeah. Look, he do like uh, he look like uh, look like Mike Epps. Yeah, he do. Yeah, he do. Um, 